Hey guys, using some permaculture skills here. I'm building a duck weed pond food source for the chickens, not for myself. We had record floods and the water was coming from the neighbors under the, the fence right here. The chickens were on a, <laughs> an island. The water was coming through like this. It pushed the wood chips a little bit like that and so now I've built a trench to get into this uh, new pond that we're building I want to make this more flat I want to get rid of those that wood and just try and make it look more maybe grass and wood chips put in some bigger foliage make it more beautiful we got a cur current current bush and a another one there and this thing's pretty pitiful <laughs> this is a black walnut tree and uh just try and fill this in with all food forest stuff so like right now i've been going to lowe's menards walmart is pretty much sold out just looking for the best deals on on stuff they're trying to liquidate and make room they're all all the seasonal places uh, Lowe's has the most expensive but they're like already fruiting the apple trees um, Home Depot is pretty cheap Walmart I got the an apple tree for seven bucks and just some ideas of trying to get bushes and trees and make all this make a ton of food the project right now I'm focusing on I'll get this buried gotta get these get couplings glued on there glue these together and uh, maybe get some flagstone and make this look kind of nice just do uh, just do duckweed and uh, it grows so fast I'll just scoop some out throw it to the chickens so that's my project I'm working on now stay tuned for more updates and feel free to leave a comment if you got any ideas or questions. Appreciate you watching. Bye. I'm thinking I'll put some bricks along the house. Put some, put just a few feet of plastic down. Get the water away from going underneath the house and making the work, sump pump work, work less harder. Yeah, here's the bricks. I was thinking about putting this up against the house and putting, making a patio out of this, kind of a brick, and making a little, you know, party place deck. Or uh, I was thinking about putting the fire pit here, but I don't want to burn those PVCs, so maybe I'll put like a hangout party place there. I meant to just make the video about the, the great flood, record level floods. Everybody in the neighborhood uh, run into the stores, calling contractors, pumps, sump pumps going out. My sump pump survived the apocalypse, but I ended up changing it out anyways, making it a, a hard PVC line instead of a flexible plastic line, and uh, making a making a trench hiding that thing you uh, know oh I forgot there's a, a cable line going through here I'm glad we missed it <laughs> we still got cable internet so we're good but this is all downhill the garden is downhill You could kind of see how maybe going downhill this way and I'd like to maybe make the water come this way back toward the garden but there's plenty of water coming off the roof and uh, the fire pit used to be there but no I made it a garden and I guess the new fire pit will be there totally jazzed about wild grapes 
Oh no. There was a, a mulberry tree here. Oh. Something just came along and ate it, I think. Shoot. I was so jazzed to find a mulberry tree, volunteer mulberry tree this year. And I think a rabbit just came and chomped it at the base. There's some leaves here. Yeah, you can see this is that unique mulberry jagged leaf. Uh, bummed. Wow. This was already a a low spot in the yard. It's actually the, the highest. This corner is the highest point of the property. And this was a kind of pooling up anyways right here. So not sure how big I'll make this. We also got another trench right here. Got lots of raspberries coming in. Anyhow the the floods we had an earlier flood this early spring. The neighbor's yard before all these hostas came up was, it was just straight dirt and the, there was, the flood waters were coming under the fence and you could see erosion going through here and then out that way and, and then the next property, there's a street over there and with a ditch that ultimately goes into the into the lake that's beyond that house but the the flood this weekend was I noticed the I think the hostas were put in resistance on the floods and pushing it in this way so pushing it into my property and you can kind of see let's see like maybe right there the wood chips were getting pushed around here definitely the water was going like this way pushing this way and looks like it kind of mounded up the wood chips like there I remember the water was going into that rabbit hole and it was just literally pouring rain yeah just lots of water in these garbage cans I don't know what to do with these garbage cans Chickens are totally relaxed. They were out, out of the pen most of the day, eating nutritious food, living food, dandelions, plantain, creeping Charlie. We got wild grapes. There's uh, stuff I haven't been able to unidentify yet. This trench right here, the, the water also comes along the fence line and comes this way, so I... Probably not necessary to put a trench to the pond right there, but we're just doing some permaculture stuff. And I uh, want to grow lots of duckweed here. <laughs> 